All right, moving on over to Jenny Mai and Jeezy's. Their ongoing divorce battle continues with new claims now surfacing about Jeezy's alleged desire to have a second child amid their relationship struggles. So he claims that the former couple had been attempting to have another baby naturally for over a year prior to their split together. Now they are parents to a two-year-old daughter. So he further alleges that uh, Jeannie contacted their same doctor about pursuing IVF um, after he informed her that he had planned to file for divorce in June of 2023. Uh, the process of IVF would require Jeezy's permission. The rapper also claims that uh, Jeannie's recent allegations of domestic violence and child neglect are all because he declined to have a second baby with her and he decided to file this divorce action. So it was Jeezy who did file for divorce in September of 2023. He pulled the plug on their marriage more than two years after he and Jeannie tied the knot during um, during their wedding ceremony. So it seems like th this is now all up to... Um, you know, how much child visitation that they can have, who has custody and things like that. Cause obviously there's no hopes of uh, reconciliation, but he's seeking joint legal and physical, physical custody of their child. So what do you think happens in this? It's getting messy. There's kind of allegations being thrown back and forth about domestic violence and things like that. It is. And it seems like it's going to be the beginning of another nasty divorce. And it should be similar to some of the others we've covered here on Legally Us. Obviously, you're talking about spousal support, child support, visitation, custody, and all those things. What's potentially interesting about this case, and, and we don't know what uh, IVF embryos or anything there are, but if there are any fertilized embryos that have been frozen, for instance, the parties may have an issue. Sometimes parties get divorced and someone still wants to inseminate or to plant that fertilized embryo and have a child. So mm -hmm. oftentimes what reproductive and other doctors will do when two parents agree to IVF is they'll have a certain set of circumstances and say, well, what's going to happen if you get divorced? What if one parent wants to unfreeze an embryo, but the other doesn't? And the parties mm -hmm. will agree in advance in an agreement so in case something like this happens, they'll know what to do with those embryos. Yeah. I feel like we saw that with Sofia Vergara a number of years ago when her ex wanted uh, the embryos. It was, I remember that. Yeah. Yes. So this is obviously a brand new area of the law. Yeah. This is something that we didn't have to deal with, you know, 10, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. But now you have these embryos, which can become children even mm -hmm. after someone gets divorced or even after someone passes away. These are things that doctors need to consider and the spouses as well, while everything is good and they're getting along.